Hey boys and girls, today we're making something called salted cod fritters or as we call it in Trinidad and Tobago, saltfish acra. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. The ingredients you will need are 1 pound of salted cod, 2 to 3 tablespoons of chopped scallions, half scotch bonnet chopped, one large pimento chopped, one and a half teaspoon of bay leaf thyme, one medium onion chopped, two cloves of garlic chopped, one tablespoon of culantro, half to one teaspoon of black pepper, sea salt, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder, one to one and a half cups of flour, one and one quarter cups of water and oil for frying. Well boys and girls, let's go back in time. I have an earlier video showing how to clean salted cod or salt fish. Here you want to place a salted cod into some water and boil it for 10 to 15 minutes. This will help rehydrate the fish and remove most of that salt. After boiling 10 to 15 minutes, you want to remove the salted cod and place it into some iced water. And this will help allow it to cool quickly. Now I'm just going to remove the skin and also remove the bones from it. This video was inspired to me by CJ from Mama and Papa Joe. I will have a link to his YouTube channel in the description below and also in the iCards above. Well here our salted cod is cleaned. We are just shredding it into some smaller pieces. And this is what it should look like. So our second pit stop for the day will be prepping and seasoning our salted cod or saltfish. Here we got our salt fish. We're going to put it into the mortar and we're going to use our pestle to give it a good pounding to get it very fine. This mortar and pestle has been in my family for close to 100 years now. It was passed on from my grandmother to me. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can use a food processor to get your salt fish or salted cut very fine. Here I'm just giving it a toss and I'm going to start to pound it again until I get that fine consistency. So here's what the salted cod or saltfish should look like. Now that you have gotten that fine consistency that you are looking for, you can add your saltfish to the bowl and get ready to start to season it. Now that our salted cod is in the bowl, it is time to start seasoning. Here I have a something we call big leaf thyme in Trinidad and Tobago. If you can't get this, you can use fresh oregano as a substitute. It is similar in taste. Here I've got two to three small leaves. I'm just going to roll it up like a cigar and again slice it very thinly. Well, if you can find the big leaf thyme, you don't want to use more than two to three leaves because this is very strong in flavor. Well, our big leaf thyme is finely chopped, so it is time to add it to the salt fish. Next, going into the pool will be one tablespoon of culantro. If you can't find culantro, you can use two to three tablespoons of cilantro. After adding that, I'm also going in with one tablespoon of finely chopped garlic <laughs> and you know it's coming I'm going in with a half of scotch bonnet pepper which I have removed the white membrane and the seeds this is to remove most of the heat and I'm doing this just because my daughter Jacqueline has to eat from this and next I'm going in with one pimento pepper pimento pepper is a flavored pepper if you can't find this you can use any flavored pepper of your choice I'm also going in with some roughly chopped scallions about two tablespoons or so followed by a half of a medium onion diced. Now that we have gotten all our fresh seasoning into our salted cod, let's give this a good old toss and make sure that everything is properly well incorporated. Now that we have gotten all our seasonings properly well incorporated, I am going in with one cup of all-purpose flour. Now I am going in with half a teaspoon of brown sugar and also 2 teaspoons of baking powder. After adding the baking powder, you want to give it a good old mix once again to make sure that everything is properly well combined. So boys and girls, here's the thing. This is how my grandmother used to make it because she used to make it to put in sandwiches. But if you want to use it as finger foods, what you need to do is add an extra cup of all-purpose flour and also about a half teaspoon of instant yeast and this will help get it into a more fluffy consistency. 
Now that all our dry ingredients is properly well combined, I'm going in with about 3 quarter cup of water and give this a good old stir. I can't give you the exact amount of water that I use, but probably I may have used about 1 to 1 and a quarter cups of water. But you're looking for a particular consistency, so just add as you go along. The best way to describe that consistency you're looking for is of a very thick paste. And as you can see we are nearly there but we are not there quite yet so we need to add a bit of water again. This is where you want to add a very little water about a tablespoon or so and here you can see this is the consistency that we are looking for. Now is here where you add your salt to taste. Here I am adding about a teaspoon of sea salt. And last but not least I am also greening with about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Well everybody is in the pool and happy now, now we want to give this a good old mix and let it rest for about 5 minutes before frying. <laughs> well boys and girls, it's time for our final pit stop, it's time to fry our salted cod or saltfish acra. Here I have about 2-2.5 two to two and a half cups of vegetable oil heating up, I want to get it to about 310-320 to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't want it hotter than that because you want to make sure that the inside of your salted cut fritters are properly well cooked inside. Now that your oil has come to temp, you want to add your mixture to the oil. Here I am just adding about a tablespoon and a half of the mixture. You don't want to overcrowd your pan to drop that temperature, so we will start off at about 5. And here you can see our saltfish acra sizzling away. Well now 5 minutes has gone by, so I want to flip it over onto the other side. And as you can see we have gotten that light golden brown color. So let's just flip the rest and see what we have got. And we have gotten that nice light golden color. And that's what we are looking for. Just look how gorgeous our salted cod fritters or saltfish acra are looking. Let's get a bit of a ringside view and see how one is looking. Doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous here guys? I tell you, we're going to be eating good here tonight folks. So I say, those salted cod fritters are done. So let's get them onto this wire rack so the oil can drain off. So in case if you fell asleep at the table, we're going to do this one more time. So fasten your seat belts because we're going to speed it up a bit. So I say these salted cod fritters are done, so let's get them on that wire rack for them to drain off that oil. And here's a bit of a close up once again. <laughs> well we are on our home stretch, so let's go make ourselves a quick dipping sauce. To make the sauce we are going in first with a quarter cup of ketchup. Next we are going in with one and a half tablespoons of W sauce or the Worcestershire sauce. Damn, looks like I got that word right. Next I am going in with about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. You can go in with a quarter teaspoon as well, whatever tickles your fancy. Here I am adding our remaining culantro and garlic, about a half a teaspoon each. Next I am going in with the juice of one lime. That might be about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of lime juice. So this is just one of the sauces I will be serving with our salted fritters. I will also be serving it with a raw mango chutney and you got to know it's coming we are going in with that new bottle of lime chunky hot pepper sauce that i have just made i will have a link in the description box below and also in the i cards above on how to make a lime hot pepper sauce just that that recipe is not of a chunky version so let's give this a good old stir and make sure that everybody is happy in the pool after giving it a good old stew, it's time to give it a taste to see how it's tasting. And here I'm about to do that. And it's ha ha hot! So fasten your seat belts and let's get ready for our drive by. Let's go! Well, boys and girls, here's our delicious salted cod fritters or saltfish aqua. And they were tasty. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. 
and turn on the post notifications for more videos. See you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time.